Hey guys, welcome to Southern Ladies Recipes. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'm so glad you came to my page, your new favorite channel on YouTube. So today we're making some birria tacos. I know y'all seen them. I know y'all heard of them. I know y'all tasted them, but y'all ain't never had them Southern Ladies style. So Let's see, our ingredients we have are we have tomato sauce. Now, if you don't have tomato paste, you can use tomato sauce. We have our chipotle peppers. We have our beef bouillon cubes. We have our cilantro. We have two onions, chopped onions, all spice, nutmeg, slap your mama, some thyme, some whole cloves. We have our bay leaves, mozzarella cheese. We have some beef shank, delicious. We have our corn tortillas and did I say garlic? I said garlic. So this is what we have for today. So come on guys, let's get ready to make some what? Goody goodness. Hey, okay, so right now I'm just browning our meat. I'm just gonna sear our beef shank on both sides. The beautiful caramelization on our meat. Smells delicious. So all I put on here is just slap your mama seasoning, okay? And I got to cook it on high heat with just a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan so you can see the oil in the pan. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to brown on both sides. Give it a nice sear. And then we're going to throw the meat in the clock of the pot. So, I'll be back. Alright, so we have all of our beef shake nice and seared on both sides. And make sure you take a wooden spoon to your skillet or your pan. And just make sure you get that seasoning at the bottom of the pan and put on top of your beef shake. You know, you want all that to go together. I do this every time. <laughs> it never fails. I always forget something. So we are going to take um, one large tablespoon of our chopped garlic. We're going to take one big tablespoon. Oh, y'all see all that? I'm going to put all that in there. Yeah. Delicious. We are going to take six bay leaves and we're just gonna put it around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to take one of our beef bouillon cubes and we're just gonna throw it in the, throw it in the back, throw it in the back. Y'all remember that song? With our nutmeg, our ground nutmeg, we're going to take one pinch. As you know, these seasonings are really, 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 really aromatic, really strong. So we're just going to do one pinch of nutmeg. We're going to do one pinch of our allspice. Mm -hmm. With our thyme. We're gonna do four pinches of thyme. One, two, three, four. Ha, ha, ha. Y'all remember Count? What was his Count? Count? What was his name on Sesame Street when he was Count? Um. Now we're gonna take some of our chopped onion and we're just gonna sprinkle some throughout. So remember, we already have a whole onion that we have inside I'm gonna put the rest the remaining onion on the top cuz I remember I told you we need two large onions so the first onion I cut up in half and I put the half of it on the bottom of the crock pot and I just layered it on the top with right now and we have the remember when I was telling you all we needed cloves well, take your whole cloves and smash them, okay? So you're going to take your cloves that are smashed 
And you're just gonna sprinkle it all around. I'm trying to tell y'all, this is some really delicious stuff. And we have four cups of water. And we're just gonna pour it on top. If y'all can smell what I smell, y'all be ready to eat. So we're just gonna let this cook for four hours. Oh my goodness, I got some garlic on the, on the crock pot. You need to be in the meat, in the meat bag. Okay, so we're just gonna let this cook for four hours and we'll return real soon, like in four hours. <laughs> okay, so I took my eight ounce of my tomato sauce and I took two chipotle chilies, well actually three, and I blended them up in my blender, so I'm just gonna take this mixture and put them in my beef shanks. Yeah, y'all see that? Smelling good, looking good. Now they've been cooking for a little bit, so this is gonna be delicious, y'all. All right, so our meat, our beef shank has cooked a little bit over three hours. It's so nice and tender. Got it all chopped up. It'll get done. Yep. So I have my pan on medium to high heat. Just waiting for it to get really, really hot. So I'm going to take some of my broth. I'm going to put it in the pan. So what we're going to do is put our tortillas in and, you know, you're going to get your tortillas. No, I didn't bite off the top. It just fell off. Yeah. So what you're going to do is just throw your tortilla around in the broth in your pan. And we're just going to let that set. Take your mozzarella cheese. While this is cooking, you're just gonna put your cheese down. I cannot wait to take a bite of these little tacos. These tacos are gonna be good. You can put however much cheese you want. If you don't want any, well, no, that's not gonna work. You need cheese in it. Hot, 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 hot. Broth popping up. Rick. Gotta wash my mouth on here. And then we're just gonna take a little bit of the beef shank and we're just gonna put some on the inside. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I got some of this onion from the broth in here also. See, we're grown over here, so we got to put a lot of meat. Shut up. <laughs> I almost said a bad word. That's bro, pop my, pop my wrist. Gonna put a little onion in, just a little bit. And a little fresh cilantro I chopped up. Just a little bit. Look if y'all can smell this. Oh, and Crackle. I'm gonna fix that one in a second. So you're just gonna fold it over and just let it nice and crispy and brown. When I 
tell you, this bra keep popping on me. Almost hollered. <laughs> You're going to flip it to the next side to make sure they get nice and brown on both. And you know, it's okay if... Oh, yeah. It's okay if a little bit of your meat or your cilantro and your onions fall out. Oh, yeah. Can y'all see that? Who ready to dig in? I am. Who ready to smash? I am. Okay. We're almost ready. All right. Y'all see it. The Barrera Tacos. And I have my dipping bra with cilantro and onions. And it's hot as I don't know what, so I'm going to put this down. And you guys know what time it is. It is tasty time. So, let me go ahead and get a bite. It's tasty time. Oh, yeah. Nice bath in the juice, of, in the au jus. <laughs> oh, MG. I hate my hair ain't done. Y'all can see this beautiful cheese as it's melted. It smells delicious. It looks delicious. It's the right amount of spice. It's not too spicy. It's just enough. You know, I said I put uh, two and a half, three chipotles in my tomato sauce when I blend it. So it just came out perfectly. It's, it's just perfect. It's great. One more time. What we say for the culture. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 You gotta look a finger. If you ain't looking your fingers, you ain't doing it right. So thank you again for coming to Southern Ladies Recipes. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment at the bottom, baby. Thank you.